this is a view of the front of the head end we are going to concentrate on the back in this video but I wanted you to see the front of it so you'd have a better understanding of what's going on okay in this video we're gonna go over how to install a KVM switch it's an IO gear KVM switch this component is going to link the playback now as well as the message now to your monitor. That way you'll be able to control through this switch here, or through this KVM switch, which component it is that you're viewing on the monitor. So to start off, what we want to do is we want to take this DVI cable. The DVI cable is a little bit bigger. Um, it's going to have a offset prong over here. And you're going to take that and plug it into the front of your KVM switch, like such. Okay, so once you have that plugged in, the other end of it is going to go straight to your monitor. So we're going to go ahead and put it into the Acer monitor here. Yeah. So now we have monitor hooked up to the KVM switch. We want to be able to control both components, so we're going to have to have a mouse and a keyboard also running into the KVM switch. If you look on the side here, you're going to see two USB ports as well as, well as a port for uh, the button that you're going to use to switch back and forth. So you're going to take your mouse, the USB from your mouse, plug it in to the side. And you're going to take the USB cord from your keyboard, you're going to do the same thing, plug it right into the side. And then finally with this, you're going to take this little button right here, if you can see it, and you're going to go ahead and plug it in right there. Now, the button is what's going to switch you back and forth between the playback now and the message now so you can see it on your monitor. The corresponding DVI cables that come off of the KVM switch, they're going to have, you're going to have your DVI cable, you're going to have this uh, audio, video, microphone cable. Um, it's best to just zip tie those back because we don't use them, they'll just get in the way. These two, um, USBs that come off the KVM switch are how you're going to actually control your keyboard. So the, the, the pink one or purple one is going to be your keyboard and the other one is going to be your mouse. So first we're going to take one of these ends and we're going to run it into, into the playback now unit. Now, the other end of this KVM switch is what's going to go into the message now unit. It's going to be the same thing. You've got your, uh, your two USBs and your microphone and audio is going to be tied back. If you remember looking at the front, uh, the top right here is the message now unit. It's already got a VGA cable going into it because this is going to be a uh, high def system that's feeding a ZV. So on top of this VGA, you're going to see a DVI input. That's where you want to put this KVM switch. You want to feed it into that DVI input right there. And now all you need to do to get back and forth between the playback in the message now on your monitor is click this button right here. And that's how you install the KVM switch. 